can see there is a circle i have taken uh, a wooden plate and on it there are some pins which makes a circle so now students we can see the first of our concept angle subtracted by the cut so let us make an angle subtracted by uh, a cut at the center so now put, put it right here to find the angle made by the cut at the center now we can move also it to find the angle made by this cut at any other point on the circumference so we can get, get right here so you all can see there are two angles one is here another one is here one is at the center and another is there in the other point of the circle okay so let us proceed to find what about the angles made by two uh, cuts two same cuts so here you can see there are two uh, cuts i have taken one is the red color thread another one is the blue color thread so here there are two angles one is right here another is right here so you can draw this so you can measure these two angles and you will observe that these two will be equal as these two cords are equal so we can say here so angles subtracted by equal cords are always equal okay so we can see right here there are two cords one is the blue cord blue color thread another is the red color thread so both have some distances from the center you can see right here one is from this one to this one and the rest from this one to this one so here we can say if the two cords have equal length then their then their distance from the center will be equal you can measure this one also and you can also try this in your book so let us go for the second so the third criteria you can say angle subtracted angles angles subtracted by an arc at center is twice that of angle subtracted by an arc by the same arc at any other point on the circle so here we have considered here we, here we can see there is an angle subtracted by an arc at the center and in the same place there will be an angle made by the center arc at the any other point of the circle now we can see is the first angle is twice of the second arc. we can measure this one with the help of protractor and you all can do it so here we can see there is a cord which forms a segment now this cord forms two different angles at two different points of the circumference we can say or we can uh, observe that these two angles will be equal we can measure these two angles and they will be equal to each other okay all we can see this is a diameter right here so this diameter forms two semicircles in both the sides so the next part of our uh, observation is uh, angle made by the same segment or look in this uh, semicircle is 90 degree so let us find an angle first so here we can see there is an angle formed by this semicircle here you all can see there is a angle so now measure this angle you will get is 90 degree always okay so this angle will be 90 degree always concept that is cyclic quadrilateral so let us have a cyclic quadrilateral first join the thread you have at four different points on the circle and this will form a cyclic quadrilateral now think students why it is a cyclic quadrilateral as it's all the four vertex lies on the circle or you can see the circumference of the circle that's why you can see it is a cyclic it is a cyclic quadrilateral so as it is a cyclic quadrilateral it have a special uh, characteristic that we can say also what is that now the opposite angles sum of opposite angles is always 180 degree or you can say the opposite angles are supplementary okay you can all measure this you can measure the opposite angles and find their sum 